Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, you remember the Space Force? Well, it's something that is still ongoing. They're still trying to push it through official channels. As you see here, this is out of the U.S. Department of Defense. And defense official builds case for creating Space Force. The U.S. military and the commercial sector rely heavily on space and naval capabilities, and the Defense Department must protect those assets and maintain U.S. superiority in the space domain. The Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy said. So they're still pushing it. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because going through some of these articles, you know, they're talking so much about everything that's happening politically right now with the impeachment moving, you know, proceedings and all. Um, and the fact that President Trump will probably not be able to be able to be as forceful as as he would if not all those things were going on. Yet, you know, there is still a push for this Space Force. And so this is out of the, you know, DOD there. And um, we see over here out of Defense News, documents reveal how Space Force would launch in 90 days. You know, the whole plan is there. It's whole, the whole script is there for it. And this is out of Defense One. Does America need a Space Force? And over here. We are the mighty, how Space Force could conduct an airborne assault on the moon. And it's all pretty interesting stuff when you get down to it. You know, talking about, do you even jump? Do you, would you even jump? Would they parachute out? Well, you know what? The parachute wouldn't do, Jack. Bleep. Yes, that's, a, that's what they've learned uh, as well. So it's all pretty interesting stuff. And with everything that's being seen lately in the skies and... I think most of us could probably say we're in agreement that there's a lot more stuff up in the sky lately. And a lot of people are really suspicious because a lot of it looks like those things that we've talked about from TR-3Bs to other uh, sorts of craft. Many of us believe that, you know, the whole push for a space force um, is really, in some ways, it's just a cover up for what's been there for the longest time already. Uh, because you know the technology is far more advanced than what we've been told. Now, we see here snake-like UFO seen over Florida is a hybrid air, land, and sea craft run by the U.S. Air Force. And so a professor claimed the mystery object seen above Orlando is part of a covert fleet being created for the Space Force. So there's video here, and this shows a cigar-shaped UFO flying over Orlando, and no, I wouldn't call it a, a snake-like one. We've seen some of those snake-like ones, energetic ones, ones that look smoky as well, very, very curious. There's more than one thing going on here, uh, much more than one thing going on here. I think I think most of us could agree. You know, I think the majority of things we see in the sky are probably our secret military. Um, and then I think that there are some things that are what we would call interdimensional uh, or perhaps, you, you know, some of you would rather say spiritual. And then there are some things that perhaps really are simply ET, you know, extraterrestrial beings that have, you know, they're very actually solid beings that can operate on our 3D reality could be interdimensional uh, in that they have the ability to change the vibration and the frequency and move into a different range and thus kind of disappear on us. Uh, but most definitely are solid, at least some of the time here in our reality. And this is a still from this one. And in case you guys haven't seen this one, uh, we have seen things like this over here. This is in the Mojave Desert in California. Now, this one, it really could be some sort of dirigible, like a blimp, like a Goodyear blimp, something like that. Again, it's kind of that cigar shape again. And uh, this one was some strange lights in Jackson Hole as well. And again, oblong. You know, So there, there's a lot going on. Are they giving us a slow disclosure perhaps you know perhaps and then there are those as we have talked about that believe that everything else besides humans and god and angels is demons you know so it's all demons these are all the fallen angels and it's going to be a 
fake alien invasion. Well, there might be a fake, fake alien invasion. That could be part of it. It really could be. Um, although I personally don't think everything that exists in this multiverse, if it's not an angel or a human or God itself, and to me God is more of an itself because it's you know silly to think of the creator in masculine or feminine terms if we really really analyze it you know um but could there be a fake alien invasion yeah uh for sure you know again there's agendas and so this is from matt portman matt thank you for sharing this um uh, and this is ports reports and so you can watch it on youtube this is matt's channel over here so please do subscribe and then Click the bell so you get all the notifications because otherwise you probably won't get any notifications from certain things on YouTube. And um, interesting too because this again is a curious item. You know, it's, I think it's definitely an object. And um, if we look at this, it, it does not appear to have wings. So, you know, what is it? I mean, there's a lot of drones. I'll give you that. There's a lot of drones going on. But it may be something that we, and this is a, a blow up. To me, it looks kind of triangular. I mean, I think we're seeing a lot more uh, tier three Bs out there. I think we're seeing a lot more military craft out there. And I do think, you know, probably the vast majority is military, but I think there are other beings around as well. So as we see this one, I've kind of blown it up, played with the lighting. And um, to me, I think it might be triangular. It's an interesting shape. You know, I don't see really wings, but there is something over here. What do you guys make of this one? And here's another picture without the uh, color changes. I think I have, yeah, I have that fully enhanced. You know, I mean, maybe it could almost look space shuttle-ish, but, you know, possibly. But it's something definitely interesting. And now this is from a different video. And this again, it's it does not appear to be a standard aircraft doesn't mean it couldn't be a drone and so this is one of those things that unfortunately that's as big as I could get this one this is one of those lights like I shared with you before of the lights that was seen in Charleston that was a really great photo that that they had of that one and these things remind me of the wheels within wheels of Ezekiel and so this is what I had seen along with Cindy and our brother Netsaya uh, in the LA area and um, these things felt conscious these felt conscious these did not feel like they were a machine uh, these felt like they were more like beings uh, honestly because it kind of felt like they were communicating with us um, it really felt like they called us uh, from being inside the house and we went outside and honestly when Natsaya saw it the first time he, he was see, thought he was seeing an angel he, he felt that type of vibration and then uh, they were definitely in full daylight communicating with us there was one and then there was three and then there seemed to be more and they were able to morph and change color it was very interesting, and this is this is another one of those orbish type of things you guys saw. You know, from so many of my videos, I've seen I've gotten so much shots of these, so many shots of these orbs, and uh, this is most definitely reflecting sunlight. Very interesting again, and so this one I believe is yeah. This is one of the ones off of that article, and uh, kind of blurry, but again, it does not look like it has wings. And this is the one that's over the Mojave. So, 
this looks like something else behind it. Uh, hard to say the shape, whether this is really, it looks to me more like a shape of a blimp, I would say. But again, very interesting. So I just wanted to share some of these things with you guys. There's so much going on in, in the skies here. Uh, there really is so much going on. And um, I think a lot of it is military. I think a lot of it is perhaps interdimensional as well. This is uh, another one of Matt's there. And I think, you know, some of it is real actual E.T. as well, because I do believe there's E.T.s here. I mean, for me, I know there's E.T.s there, here, because I've had experiences going back to childhood. And uh, Cindy has as well. So, you know, I know I've seen what I would call a gray a tall gray, and I've seen uh, what we would call an Eben as well. And my kids have both seen uh, the typical grays as well. So it's just been part of our lives, and I suspect it was part of my father's life as well, because he did not talk much about anything, but he just said that he knew UFOs were real. And this is a guy that was so straight-laced and... Uh, you know, it would it would surprise most people that knew him for him to say that UFOs were real. There really are ETs out there, because he was brought up Catholic, went through Catholic school from you know grade one all the way through uh, twelve. You know, graduating from high school the whole time. You know, he was brought up Catholic, and uh, you know, with the nuns whacking him with a ruler. You know how they used to do in the old days. So, you know, he was brought up on, on Jesus and the Bible and God and Satan and all that, but yet he had no doubts. And he did tell me he had seen stuff, but he never went into detail and never even wanted to really talk about it. I had to try to pry it out of him. So I know they track bloodlines. I know they follow uh, certain genetic um you know, traits and characteristics, and, you know, there's, of course, been so much talk about them doing genetic experimentation, you know, taking people up, and, uh, you know, just seeing how things are progressing, and I think that's a reality, I'm sure that's a reality, and, and I don't personally think those are demons, unless you want to, you know, just say it's something demonic, because it's something that is taking people against their will, I'll agree with you there, yeah, when we talk about even the word demon, it comes from daemon, which is a uh, a Greek word, which is very similar. It's basically, you know, different type of spirit. Nature spirits are the uh, devas as well. So I want to invite everybody to come join us on Patreon and support the channel for as little as a dollar a month. You can help support the channel. And there's some videos that go up there, which are things we can't talk about on YouTube. So you'll see some unique ones there. And then join us on the second channel, EE Arts, for uh, some more spiritually based topics as well. I look forward to your comments. Uh, keep your photos and everything coming, guys. Share what you're seeing. Share your thoughts as well. As always, my friends, God bless and namaste.